thank you for joining us again and welcome back to another exciting and informative video on our youtube channel in this episode i will be looking into a more specific regards to one of africa's partners that has made the continent a strategic region with regards to its global influence in this episode while i was conducting my research with regards to this particular video i was looking at this particular country why they are shaping their perspective and embracing africa with all hands and their particular approach has caused a lot of confusion in a number of geopolitical partners across the world this particular country i'm talking about is the country of turkey i made a video here some couple of months ago but i came back again to conduct a detailed research to see where this country stands with regards to africa why the continent of africa at the moment is calling the shot the african countries of 25 years ago is not the african country of today that is the reason why the country of turkey with a better understanding to the reason why it will never be joining European Union anytime soon, I decided to see Africa as a region full of potential and economic development. That's the reason why the government of Turkey has decided to open its hands to engage, to collaborate, to manage and also see Africa's perspective from a number of areas. So in this episode, I will be looking at three very important things in this video. First, the Turkish government has made Africa one of its foreign policy priorities. And secondly, I will be looking at trade and cooperation between Turkey and African countries and why this particular relationship is booming so far. The next thing I'm going to be looking at which will be more clashing in this episode will be that the strong ties could eventually clash with Western strategy in the continent of Africa. As you all know, the Turkish president is famous in saying that the world is larger than five, referring to the five permanent member in the United Nations Security Council. So without any more delay, let's just dive straight into it. Ankara's many-sided approach to cooperation with Africa is bearing fruit. After a rapprochement with Europe followed by an inconclusive attempt to join the European Union in the 1990s and early 2000s, Turkey shifted its focus to Africa. At first, this pivot was motivated by the need to secure more diplomatic backings in international setting. Around 2005, if you look at perspective, however, Turkey-African relations began to deepen. This growth was spurred by global geopolitics, but also by the determined approach of the Justice and Development Party and Turkey's economic boom in the mid-2000s. If you look at geopolitics in play, Turkey's engagement with Africa initially relied on soft power, humanitarian aid, education, and cultural activities and initiatives. Over time, more assertive forms of influence have become key aspects of partnership. For instance, in 2011, Turkey played a vital role in Somalia by delivering aid during the devastating famine. In 2017, it established Kam Tucson in Mogadishu its largest overseas military training facility and in 2019 Turkey intervened in Libya's civil war by supporting the Tripoli administration against General Khalifa Harfa backed by Egypt and Russia at the time. If you look at geopolitics as Africa continued to make its own decision and selecting its own partners, Turkey as a country is posing as an alternative to the West and also to countries like China and the rest of the other geopolitical partners of Africa. Turkey's African relations has expanded rapidly because of Ankara's ambition and multifaceted long-term strategy. To expand its influence, Turkey has been engaging with a wide array of actors, including governmental bodies, private sector firms, and faith-based groups. It has intensified its formal diplomatic efforts. There are now 44 Turkish embassies in the continent of Africa, compared to 12 embassies in 2002. Ankara has also launched cultural programs, business councils, and extensive flight networks across the continent of Africa, with Turkish airlines now flying to more than 60 African destinations. If you look at geopolitics as it continues to expand, accompanying this strategy is a narrative portrayed by Turkey as an Afro-Eurasian state. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has sharpened a modern vision of Turkey that reveals its Ottoman heritage while championing Turkish nationalism. He has consistently advocated for an overhaul of the global institution, 
positioning his country not just as a supporter of African aspiration, but also a viable alternative to traditional powers like China and Western countries, including Russia, and also across other competitions in the Middle East, including India as well. If you look at perspective, like Beijing, Ankara emphasizes state sovereignty and also refrains from imposing political conditions on its partners. In this context, Turkey's Muslim identity and lack of a colonial history are seen as a unique strength. For African countries, the Turkish aid model is also advantageous. Although funding is limited, the fact that grants are negotiated under bilateral schemes makes it an appealing alternative to aid from international institutions like World Bank and also International Monetary Fund that comes with hefty political demands. If you look at perspective that Turkey continues to engage the continent of Africa to diversify its own narrative with regards to why Africa is choosing its own partners at the moment. To become a major security player in Africa, Turkey redefined its strategy with regards to security in the continent of Africa. How does that work? Historically, Turkey's influence was mostly limited to North Africa and the Horn of Africa because of geographic and also religious connections. However, as previously anticipated, Ankara is now expanding and consolidating relations with countries in West Africa like Nigeria and Senegal and with the Sahelian countries as well. In the last two decades, trade between Turkey and Africa has increased from 5.4 billion US dollars to over 40 billion US dollars in 2022 based on my own research. Turkish products and services from consumers to cultural goods, pharmaceutical products and construction services have now been making significant inroads into African markets thanks to their own quality and also competitive prices based on my own assessment. If you look at perspective, a Turkey continues to engage the continent from a geopolitical and geoeconomic perspective. Additionally, Turkey has become a key actor in Africa's changing security landscape. Already an important presence in North Africa and the Horn of Africa, Ankara has concluded defense agreements with countries in West and also East Africa, including countries like Ethiopia, Ghana and Kenya, Nigeria and also including Rwanda. Although the specifics of the deals varies, ranging from security provisions and also technical support to military trainings, they most often include provisions around the sales of arms as well. If you look at Turkey's broadening its strategy, the expansion of the Turkish defense industry is one of the priorities of President Erdogan's government. If I go back to my research in 2023, the volume of Turkish defense and aerospace export grew by 27%, reaching a record high of 5.5 billion US dollars. Growth is expected to accelerate this year in 2024 based on the statistics I see. Now that the Turkish government, the Bakhtar Technology has signed also the biggest defense contract in the country's history for the sale of unmanned combat area vehicles to the country of Saudi Arabia. Turkey has become an important player in the global drone industry thanks to the development of the competitive model like the Batrika, the TB2 or you can also say the Akinsi. This country has perceived the continent of Africa to be an important economic hub and geopolitical arena where they can engage Africa for a win-win perspective. For African countries, Turkey defense products have many upside. They are affordable and technically reliable, having been tested in Libya, Syria, and more recently in Ukraine. Again, unlike the West, Turkey does not make this assistance conditional on governance or human rights commitments based on my own perspective. For countries facing insurgent movement with under-resourced armies and also porous borders in the continent of Africa, countries like Togo and also other countries like Niger and Somalia, Turkey's drone and counter-terrorism expertise are especially valuable. Another sign of Ankara's increasing importance in African security landscape in new maritime initiatives in the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea and also the Gulf of Aden, including partnerships with the country of Somalia, Sudan and also Eritrea. The current particular situation that I see here with regards to the scenario that we'll be building with regards to Turkey's relationship with Africa. The fragmentation world order is making it increasingly difficult for the European Union to design a coherent African policy and the United States of America initiative on the continent have mostly failed. 
this situation will likely bring Turkey and African countries a lot closer. This is what I see. If I look at it in details, Turkey African continues to engage each other for my first scenario. Given the scope of interest involved, including geopolitical concerns, economic interests and trade dynamics, relations and Africans are expected to remain a priority. Even if a new leader were to take over in Turkey, not expected in the short term, for African countries, relations with Ankara will continue to offer an opportunity to increase this leverage and also access economic and trade benefits and also secure defense agreements. If you look at the aspect with regards to this first scenario, the most likely scenario is therefore one under which security cooperation drives the expansion of Turkey's African relations. As more African countries resort to Turkey's defense equipment and expertise, Ankara is expected to become an important, in some cases decisive actor in Africa's security landscape. Turkey has recently grown closer to Egypt, mostly because of the converging positions on the conflict in Sudan and also in Gaza. Ankara is skillfully navigating relations with both Morocco and also Algeria, two regional rivals in the Sahel and also the Horn of Africa. Turkey is perceived as a less problematic than Moscow and also the Wagner Group and more popular than the former colonial powers. All of this suggests that Turkey will remain a strategic partner in the African continent. This development could lead to two different outcomes in the middle and also the long powers competition in Africa. Let me give you what the second scenario could be made on my own analysis. The West and Turkey align their approach to the continent of Africa. The first less likely scenario, I would say, part convergence between the approach of Turkey, the European Union and also the United States of America. This could play out through multilateral engagement. For example, the NATO framework, a more cohesive strategy on Africa from those major players will potentially benefit all sides. However, a lot of African countries have pushed back with regards to NATO's perspective and expansion and they perceive NATO action in Libya to be deteriorating with regards to African relationship. However, while convergence is possible, how Turkey engages with Africa, including its stance on various conflicts across the continent of Africa, would ultimately hinge on Ankara's global interest as a middle power striving to manage the complexity of an increasingly dividend or divided international order. The last scenario as I close this video will be Turkey and the West compete for influence in the continent of Africa which is a likely perspective that I'm looking at based on my own analysis and all the research I've conducted. Recent events, however, suggest that the more likely part with the West is divergence. In Niger, while the United States of America and Europe have suspended aid to the military junta government, Turkey, which is interested in establishing a military base in the country, has maintained its support for the new government. President Erdogan has stated that the economic community of West African state intention to intervene in the country was unacceptable. Ankara has also positioned itself as a mediator in the Sudan conflict. President Erdogan received Abdel Fattah al Bhutan, leader of the Sudanese armed forces in Ankara last September for official talks on bilateral relations. If you look at this particular issue, as Africa continues to make an important decision, its own self, and why Africa is choosing its own partner, that's the reason why Turkey's push for influence in Africa is working so far, and this is causing a lot of confusion in Turkey's geopolitical partners in the West. I want to thank you for watching, hopefully you've informed you to the reason why. Turkey has all of a sudden become an important player, why this strategy has been under the roots for a long time and why Turkey is emerging at the moment. If you like my analysis and enjoy the content I make, I encourage you to subscribe, smash the like button, I would definitely appreciate that. If you are new here, check some of our other informative videos on this YouTube channel. I will be looking forward to meeting you soon. Let's meet in the comment section, leave us a comment, keep the conversation going. We shall be meeting you soon in our next episode. Have a good day. Bye-bye.